Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is finally time to talk about what the heck flight attendants are talking about. This is flight attendant lingo with yours truly. I was able to come up with about 20 words or so that people outside of the industry might not know what we are talking about. I'm not gonna explain all 20 in this one video because that would be way too long, but I have some words in this little bowl and I figured I would pick five today and this can just be part one. Now if you're watching these videos and there's ever a word or phrase that you're hoping I'm saying that I just haven't said yet, again I have a few I'm not going to get to all of them today, but put them in the comments below because this is my job, this is my life. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about today I talk about on a regular basis. So there might be some words or phrases that I use that I think is normal or just like and forgetting is not normal that when you guys hear you're like this is not a normal saying so if you ever in any of my videos hear me say something odd that I haven't explained then put them down in the comments and I will add it to the list if it is not already a part of the list and we'll get it explained to you so that you can understand what I'm talking about half the time Silo is insisting on being a part of this video today he will not leave my side he just won't lay down, so we'll see how this goes with him. But let's jump right in. How about it, Silo? Should we pick a word? Can you pick one? That one? Okay. <laughs> he thinks it's like a snack. He keeps like sniffing the bowl. Okay. Oh, short called. If you guys have watched my videos before, then I have been short called plenty of times. So if you ever hear me say like, oh my gosh, they short called me, that just means when we are on call, we have two hours to get to the airport to sign in. And so if they ever call us for a trip, Silo, if they ever call us for a trip that is already past that two hours, so like say I get called at noon for a 140 trip sign in, they have to extend my call out time for the two hours. So they have to change like that trip sign in. Um, so short call just means that they, you have exactly two hours because usually when you're on call, they'll give you a little bit longer than that. Like as soon as the trip comes open, they'll call you. Um, like most of the times I feel like they give you two and a half, three hours, but there are certain days when things are crazy and they call you and have to change that time and you have exactly two hours. And so that is what we call being short called. And it has happened to me a couple times in some of my vlogs. So you guys might have heard me use that before. <laughs> Alrighty, a red eye. This might be kind of common. A lot of you guys might already know what this is, but when I first started flying, I literally knew nothing about flying. I think I had flown maybe three times in my life before I became a flight attendant. So a lot of these words were just not on my radar. So a red eye is going to be a flight that starts on the West Coast and it leaves really late at night on the West Coast. But, and it goes back to the East Coast, but with the time change, you're gonna be landing in the East Coast super early in the morning. So you're gonna be getting in at like five, six, seven, eight a.m. in the morning on the East Coast time, even though you left at like midnight, 11, 10 p.m. on the West Coast. So you're flying basically all through the night because of the time change, but usually those flights are like four or five hours. But yeah, that's what a red eye is. Okay, moving on. I just got the dog's new um, Halloween skeleton toys and they're squeaky, so Silo's probably gonna be squeaking it this whole whole video. Okay, Odin. This one has actually been requested to be explained a couple times, so I'm glad that I drew this in the first, first video. So Odin stands for on duty all night. Even though we're not technically flying all night, we are on duty all night because we never get an eight hour rest period. So what a ODAN is, is you take the last flight of the night. So since I am Charlotte based, you would take the last flight of the night from Charlotte to let's say Indianapolis. You go Charlotte to Indianapolis. So you get in to Indy around like 1130 midnight, sometimes even after midnight. And then you usually have between five and like seven hours on the ground 
Um, so we get a hotel because anything, any sit time that we have over four hours, they're supposed to get us a hotel. So we get a hotel, usually get like three, four, don't chew that up. Usually get like three, four hours of sleep. And then you go back to the airport and you work the first flight of the morning back to Charlotte. So that is what an ODAN is. You don't fly all night, but you're basically on duty all night because you don't get enough rest to not be considered on duty. So that is what an ODAN is. Alrighty, we got two more. Should we do this one? Oh, galley queen. Okay, if you ever hear anyone saying like she's the galley queen or I'm the galley queen, that means they are position two, which different airlines have different names um, for their position. Some use letters, some use numbers. My airline uses numbers. So position two is also referred to as the galley queen. They are in charge of the back galley um, on domestic flights you're still doing a lot of work but it's not nearly as much work as you are doing on transatlantic as the position two because when you're transatlantic the position two or the galley queen is in charge of the meals the beverage service like they just have so much more stuff to set up and if you've ever been on a wide body and seen that back galley you know it is ginormous compared to our domestic narrow body flights so yeah, but they're the, just the galley queen because they're in charge of the back galley. So that is what a galley queen is. And I've referred to myself as that a few times on my vlogs when I'm the position two. I'll be like, I'm the galley queen this trip. <laughs> so that is what that means. I'm just position two working in the back and I set up the whole back galley. Alrighty, last but not least, you are just in the way. You just really are in the way. Oh, okay. This is, I have it written down as an IROP. I would never actually call it that, but sometimes you'll see things like popped up, like if there is some craziness going on, you might get um, updates like on your phone for your flights and it's just saying like IROP. So IROP stands for Irregular Operations, but it's shortened to IROP. But yeah, that just means there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. So usually weather or just, delays for some reason, um, if something is shut down for any reason, if the airport has to close for some reason, it causes irregular operations and we like to shorten words into other words. So <laughs> irregular operations we shorten into IROP. Someone did ask me um, what that meant on a video. So there you go, that is IROP. And that is our first five flight attendant words. I hope that you guys learned something today. If not, maybe you will learn something in a future flight attendant lingo video, but that is all for this, this one. This is part one. Like I said, I think I have 20, or I don't know if I mentioned that. I have 20 words, so there will at least be three other videos, unless you guys ask me about more words that I don't have written down, then there will be even more. But yeah, as always, any questions, comments, whatever, put them in the comments below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!